Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can invite external users to Microsoft Teams. I'm sure there are situations when you need to collaborate with external parties like your vendors, clients, you know, contractors, and in, you need to invite them into your uh, Microsoft Teams so you can chat with them and exchange files, etc. So let me show you how to do that. Now, there is one very important prerequisite for you. And that is that you need to have external sharing on Microsoft Teams enabled. Uh, this is something only uh, an IT you know, individual can kind of validate for you uh, because that's something that uh, can only be set up and configured from the admin center. So essentially what you, I uh, guess, uh, your IT uh, resource needs to do, go to uh, uh, Teams admin center, all right, which is where I am right now, under org-wide settings, guest access uh, you need to make sure that this toggle is on you know allow guest access and teams uh, make sure it's on obviously if it's off then uh, you or pretty much no one else will be able to invite external users into microsoft teams so make sure it's on uh, assuming it's on let's go ahead and invite external users now now this is um, only something uh, your team owners can do anyway all right uh, because remember if it's a private you know team right uh, you have to be a team uh, owner to invite others. And, you know, whether it's an uh, internal resource or external resource, uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, you, uh, if it's a private team, only team owners can invite others. Um, so you, you do have to be a team owner to, uh, to invite external users. So uh, what you need to do is click three dots next to the team name, manage team. And over here, you are going to see kind of a list of under the members tab, a list of uh, uh, you know people who are the owners, you know some members. Here we go. I have Mary, who is uh, internal to the organization. We are going to invite external users, so you just click Add a Member. Now, if you are inviting uh, internal users, all right, internal members, uh, right, you just need to type in their name. Uh, and uh, if you are inviting external users, you have to type in their full email address. All right. I'm going to type in uh, this email address right here. This is just a test email address uh, I use. Here we go, uh, uh, Gmail account, obviously. Uh, so um, if you notice right away, I, um, you know, I typed in that email address, that Gmail account, um, uh, right away it recognized that this user is outside of the organization, right? It did not have the uh, internal domain, right? It had Gmail, you know, could be obviously something else that the external users is using, but uh, essentially automatically the user is labeled as a guest. Click add. All right. And uh, all you need to do here, I mean, as you can see here, um, the guest has been added. Click close. All right. So now I just invited an external user, uh, all right, uh, someone at Gmail uh, address uh, to my team. Uh, but let's now see what the experience will be, uh, right? There are a few steps the external user needs to do uh, to authenticate. So let's see what the experience looks like for that external user. So here we go. I go to uh, my Gmail account right here. And, um, you know, essentially the recipient gets uh, an invitation. Here we go. So the external recipient just follows the prompts. All right. And let's see. Uh, look, um, because obviously the external user, this is the first time uh, that user is accessing, um, you know, a team or a SharePoint site within that organization, uh, it recognizes that the user does not have an account yet. So it offers to create one. Here we go, under the same Gmail account. All right. And essentially what's happening here is that uh, this Gmail account or whatever the, you know, email address of the user uh, right. Obviously, it would be it could be you know uh, the other uh, you know users company domain name etc. Essentially, this email address will be associated uh, with Microsoft. All right. So it will be an account with uh, Microsoft for that particular organization. So essentially, it prompts the user to create a password, which is what I'm doing right now. Okay. Here we go. Now, there were a few validation steps I kind of skipped in this particular video, but essentially you just need to punch in your birthday and then um, uh, Microsoft sends you uh, a temporary uh, you know, pin that you need to type in. I did all of that. 
Uh, and then once all is set and done, essentially all you need to do is just accept uh, the terms and conditions. All right, and look at this, here's the team. All right, here's the team. Uh, the user has been invited to the team. The user has, um, uh, you know, pretty much sees all the channels. All right, uh, and um, obviously the, remember my other, uh, you know, my other, when I was logged in uh, under my own credentials, uh, I also had a private channel. Obviously the external user does not see that. Uh, but other than that, the external user has access uh, to the team. So he or she can, you know, um, collaborate and, and chat. All right, and um, obviously upload the files and everything. All right, and uh, uh, obviously the external user has access to the files. All right, and let me show you what else user has access to. Uh, so obviously not just the Teams aspect, not just the channel, so you know the user can chat, uh, but also the SharePoint side of things, right? The user is granted guest access to the uh, SharePoint as well, to the SharePoint site. So if I click that, open in SharePoint, look at this. This is the SharePoint site that uh, has uh, been provisioned as part of the team uh, user is listed as a member over here, all right? And the reason is, all right, because every time you chat on Teams and upload files to different channels, the files are stored within the channel folder. So the user does need to have access uh, to the, uh, you know, to, to the SharePoint site as well. And pretty much, I guess, user has, um, has uh, add, added rights to the whole uh, SharePoint site. The user can upload files, uh, you know, delete them, uh, pretty much like a re any regular member. Uh, and also, by the way, the external user can edit the pages, all right? Because again, essentially it's the full, uh, not full, but you know, full membership, I guess, I guess right. All right, so obviously um, the user has access to the Teams asked, uh, to the Teams side of things, to the SharePoint side. Now let me show you what else the external user has access to. Uh, so obviously Teams, all right, to chat, uh, SharePoint, just like I showed you. Uh, and uh, the external user also has access to Planner, all right? So if you have uh, any plans associated with uh, the team, with the Microsoft 365 group where you manage your tasks, uh, you or the external user also has access to Planner. So as you can see here, uh, I'm logged in as the external user in Teams. And here we go, this tab happens to uh, show me the tasks that are part of the plan, all right? So the external user can now collaborate and uh, uh, you know, pretty much uh, add new tasks just like any other team member, all right? Uh, and by the way, if the external user goes to uh, tasks.office.com, uh, that's a dedicated address for planner, uh, the user will see the uh, same tasks uh, kind of appear in a dedicated uh, you know, planner window, if you will. And that's all I wanted to share in this particular video with you, hopefully you learned uh, something new. It's not that hard as you can see to invite your external users, uh, just literally uh, a few steps and uh, uh, for both uh, you and the recipient, uh, pretty intuitive, pretty uh, easy process in my opinion. Uh, and again, thank you very much for your attention and hope to see you again on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.